morning everybody. I just happen to be passing by the largest wood framed dome structure in the United States. And it happens to be university uh, training grounds and sports field, but I'm in Marquette, Michigan. And I just figured I'd stop and do this very brief little video and show you the largest wood framed dome structure in America. Just a cool little short clip on my journeys looking for gold and minerals and other sparkly glittery things. Hey guys, here's another brief little informational video. We are in uh, Iron Country and this is a really cool and unique thing. There's a massive freighter being loaded, most likely with iron ore. That is a big boat. That is a really big boat. Rusty too. And that, I can't see my camera again. Um, that is the loading platform. I'm not sure what it's called, but they use these behemoth structures to load the ships. I really can't see my camera but I get the idea where I'm at, just from experience. I can't even see until I play this video back what exactly I'm seeing. I can see that I'm on the structure. That's big. That is really cool. So that is where they load the ships. Sailing to other areas where the iron ore and pellets get processed into steel. Pretty cool, huh? And since this is a prospecting trip, there's this tiny, tiny, tiny little flow of water. I mean, like, inches. Tiny little flow of water. But what caught my attention is the black sands right here, and up in here, and especially up in there. I'm gonna get out my pan and see what's in it. I'm here, I'm on a prospecting trip, and there's black sand. It would be dumb not to touch it. Meanwhile, I think I found, oh yeah, look at that. I found some uh, slag, what I generically term Leland Blue and Frankfurt Green, beach washed slag. These are very roughly beach washed. And something that I find really cool, which is quite rare, I'm gonna have to polish that up a little bit better. I found a better sample down the road a ways, is a um, piece of cement probably from the old iron industry from the furnaces that is actually made of limestone and slag. How cool is that? They built the structures and used the glass slag from the furnaces to make the cement. That's just neat. That's really cool. So I got some samples here I'm going to pick up. There's one. I mean, there's actually a lot right here. There's there's a mess just sitting right here. Look at that. That's that's good old, what I generically call Frankfurt Green. Somebody got in my case about calling it uh, Leland Blues and Frankfurt Greens when they're not from Leland or Frankfurt. But uh, I use it generically. That's an ugly big piece. I don't think I'm gonna keep that one. But um, yeah, that's, that's slag. And these polish up beautifully to make jewelry. Boy, this is an abundance here. I'll tell you, this is a massive, more than I've seen anywhere else. Guaranteed by the next time I come by, this will be strip bare, because <laughs> I talked about it. <sighs> but look at that. Nice little batch. Now that's cool. So the freighter's finished loading over here. I was watching that one load, and here he is steaming off. Actually, he looks empty. I wonder if he was unloading. That's curious. He's turning around. I wonder what he's doing. He's t actually turning around. But he's high in the water. He must have been unloading. Yeah, I guess I'll see because I'm gonna. I still got to get down in here. 
and check out this black sand and pick up a few of my uh, specimens that I got. Well, there it sails in a beautiful background. That is pretty. Wow, I can see now the sun is gone. So he unloaded. Cause he's sitting high. He did a full turnaround and took off. Well, I've got here some, I got a really nice Jasper light just out of the water right here. I don't know, the, now the light is awkward. There we go. Can you see that? Now the light's awkward for, for this. That's a good specimen, a very good beach wash specimen. So you don't have to go to a Jasper light hill to find Jasper lights because they're everywhere out here. Beautiful when polished to make great jewelry. So there's that one, and here's an orange type. I like that, I just thought that was really pretty. And then I found this one here, it's already drying off on me. There's a lot of pretty colors in it. I don't know how well that shows. There's a lot of colors in that, and layers. It's a dark rock, but you can see the layers, I think, and the colors in it. I just thought that was nice looking. And then I found, and you don't have to go to the mountains to find a quartz vein, it was just laying here. So there's a chunk of a quartz vein. They're all pretty narrow and small. Looks like some sulfides in there. Could be. I'll have to check it out closer later. Uh, I think that's gotta be some there. But uh, there's a quartz vein. Now again, quartz is nice to be, pieces like that with the sulfides and the different colors in it and the staining just make beautiful specimens when cut open or polished. So that's why I'm keeping it.